Nothing has charmed like early polygonal graphics. A lot of those games have really aged poorly, but some of them, I think the gameplay is what holds them up. Always said good graphics do not a game make. That is correct, and it's unfortunate that the industry is still struggling with that. I think Nintendo's figured it out, and that's why they don't really care if this if their systems are top of the line. Ah. There we go. Oh, I just thought of something. Okay, I did get I did grab him. Wonder what the what the point was that graphics became cheaper and less intensive than story and gameplay. I think graphics have always been a major focus on of games. Hey, Dr. Praetorius, you're more friendly than your than your associate. Ah, it's another beautiful day for scientific discovery. Did you know that preliminary research indicates that the moon might not be made of green cheese after all? Well, of course it isn't. If you look it up, look up at it, it's white. It's white cheese. Say so it started to take root in the PS2 era? Yeah, maybe about then, because PlayStation 1, yeah, the, the polygons were still very blocky. So, how are you doing, Dr. P? I am feeling particularly lighthearted this day. My research has been flying along lately. So many hints about what you're supposed to do. Is that all the council can come up with? Slaying monsters to prove your worth? Gort will have no problem with this one, but it's hardly a test of brain power. Tell me about science! Science has the ultimate solution to every problem confronting the cosmos. Of course, the goal of the scientist is to find the solutions of science. Why cannot man fly like a bird? Because he doesn't have wings and feathers! That's an obvious scientific conclusion. Yes and no, graphics have always been important, but there was a point in which CG was more important more expensive than, say, classic animation. What was the point where it became cheaper to do graphics than invest in anything else? That is a good question. I imagine someone who's more familiar with game history would, might be able to give you an answer. I might say that it may have come around when CDs were introduced. And they could start doing cinematics and full motion videos and it's like hey we can make you know a crappy game but if we've got movies we have actors we've got computers that are animating all this this stuff and well, it looks good for the time like even the cutscenes in this game they don't look good today but they were amazing back then in 1998 <laughs> It has long been the dream of scientists to invent wings and fly like birds. It's theoretically possible, you know. Icarus and Daedalus even managed it once, although with somewhat unfortunate results. We still have the survivor's set of artificial wings on display. Unfortunately, they would fall apart if anyone actually tried to fly with them again. Pity. I should like to try it sometime. 
you know the point. The point that jiggle physics were introduced. So, dead or alive. Time for you to fly, is it? Let knowledge guide your path. All right, well, they've given us just mountains and mountains of hints on what we're supposed to do. Mentioning Icarus and Daedalus and flying and... We'd need wax and feathers, so here we have some wings. Let's add some wax. I said, let's add some wax. There we go. You apply the wax to the framework to create a wing-like shape. And here we have... A single Pegasus feather. And that'll be enough. You attach the feathers to the soft beeswax to create wings. Let's go. You place the harness over your shoulders and you are now wearing the wings like Icarus. And the animation is fl just going way too dang fast. The wax in your wings is beginning to melt, and your feathers are starting to f starting to molt. You mean our feather? You glide to a splintering crash that destroys your Icarus wings completely. That's okay. They served their purpose. Sticky sap wells forth from this small tree. You best keep your head away from it. Well, we might want to keep our head away, but we definitely don't want to keep our bottle away. You gather some goo into your container and store it away for later use. Okay, we're going to need resistance and flame dart. And this right has one of my favorite songs in the whole game. So, whoop, sorry, my bad. One second, one second. All right, let's go. Your weapon doesn't seem to be doing any actual damage. You suspect that a magical weapon is necessary. Oh. Let's actually uh, have that ready. You look as if you could use a little help. Mind if I join you? Yeah, let's take let's get Elsa's help. Hi Elsa, how you oh, doing? I have no doubt you are pleased to see me here. Misery loves company, yeah? Is it wrong you were hoping for a nosedive? <laughs> We don't know what happened. We just know it was a splintering crash. It might have been. So, what are you doing here? I have gotten here by Mino's ship. We had to battle some sea people to do so. I can understand why the fishermen do not dare come here in their little boats. So, um, what's this thing behind us? It is very ugly and obviously tough. Working together, though, we should be able to defeat it. Okay. So, here's the plan. If what you have heard is correct, then perhaps I should do the fighting, and you should burn what is left when the head is chopped off. Works for me. Oh, I... Ah, shit. I have taken too much damage. I must heal myself. Excuse me for a moment. Alright, you do that, um... Hang on, hold up. Get flame dart ready. Here, I got this. Burn it now. Can I fight? Nope. So she's having to run all the way up and. Hey, are you actually gonna... Elsa, what are you doing? 
Elsa? I, I don't think that's how you can fight this thing. I have taken too much damage. I must heal myself. Excuse me for a moment. Look, if you want to fight that head, you actually have to come up here. I'll show you. Oh, I don't have good line of sight to it. Set fire to it before the head grows back. Well, it's gonna do that before I can get back to it. There. But at least she found her way up to the ledge. Looks like it's barfing rather than spitting acid. I have taken too much damage. I must heal myself. Excuse me for a moment. You know, it'd probably be faster if I fought it and you just carried a torch. I'm going to keep my resistance up in case he sprays in my direction. Burn it now. Here. I'll get there first. I'll take a few swings and then you can finish it. Alright. Good luck. Burn it now. That did it. We have defeated the Hydra. Gross. You've got the teeth to prove you won this ride, but what is my reward for all the effort I went through here? So we got some scales and we got some teeth. So up over here. Hey, Elsa. That was not an easy job. We both deserve to win this ride, but I do not think that this one can be a tie. There were too few teeth in that last snaky face. What are you talking about? He dropped three teeth. We can even give one to Gort and say he was here. <laughs> Let's ask for a kiss. No. We can search for treasure. There may be something in the cave behind the Hydra. Why do we not go look? <laughs> Defeating the Hydra is a reward. Ha! <laughs> I'm not one of those who gets a great thrill from killing things. It is a duty, not a pleasure. Yeah, I'm just saying that... If she could do as much damage as I can with my little dinky knife... This would have gone way faster. And if she had brought a torch, I could have fought it. Oh. Here, you can have these. You are giving these to me? Then I shall be the winner of this ride. That is very kind. I knew it. I was certain that we would find something in this cave worthwhile. This magical bow will be all the reward I want from here. I will return to Silmaria. It has been interesting working with you. I will see you at the Hall of Kings. And there's still some stuff in here for us. A little bit of money. Thousand bucks. Already chose who you romance. Uh, actually, I wasn't planning on romancing her. I just... I like doing that because... Yeah. It's, you know, I'm a good guy. And it's not like I'm going to be losing any of the other rights. The Hydra's beheaded carcass sizzles as it, as it's consumed by the oozing acid blood. I didn't know that its blood was acid. 
hip bones connect to the wrist bone, neck bones connect to the ankle bone. Hmm, a chiropractor would have his work cut out with this patient. It looks like a broken grieve from someone's leg armor. It has been seriously munged. This large chest looks like it spent many weeks at sea before washing up on shore. You wonder why the Hydra brought it into its lair. There is a trap set on the lock. Well... Boop! You trigger the trap with dramatic results! And inside the chest we find a lot of money, a shrink spell scroll, some rope, and magic chain mail. Nice. These rib bones came from an unfortunate animal almost as large as the Hydra itself. A beached whale, perhaps? Empty eye sockets stare into eternal oblivion. So, we now have magic chain mail. Plonk. As you can see, it hurts our agility, our magic, our acrobatics, and I, our stealth. <laughs> well, we're not really that sneaky. But we want to keep our magic high. Because that is, that is our main thing. We can also equip this helmet. So, now we have yellow glowing armor and a blue glowing helmet. Gross. All right, but we are done with this island. We've got our amphora of goop. So, let's head home. Oh, we also need to learn our spell. Shrink. The words of the spell burn themselves into your brain as the scroll crumbles to dust. We can put our knife away. Nothing new there. Let's order a meal. Is it going to be mac and cheese? She did give the cooks the day off. Maybe not the whole day. Today, we are having macaroni and ah, cheese. Okay. Plain old macaroni and cheese. I gave the cooks the day off. Well, not a whole lot else we can do tonight. So let's just go to bed. And this is also a good place to end stream. So... Let's just burn the rest of our MP on force bolts. And then we're gonna go ahead and save it here and call it. I think if we go to sleep, it's gonna we'll be woken up by the guards and taken straight to the halls of kings for the next rite. So we'll do that next stream.